He's using the count now 3 1 to Andrews. Andrews coming off of her All American season, um, statist statistically speaking, is improving from last year. The 1 0 swung on, and it's a base hit into right field. It's going to be a single for Andrews. It's Billy Andrews advancing to second. And the Huskers able to get two on. It's going to be a bunt. Tough play for Salo. He'll be out at first base, but both the Andrews sisters advance. Scene of game one. She's going to connect on that one. Andrews coming home. The throw was wild. One run is going to score. And so does Brooke Andrews. It's 2 0 Nebraska. Andrews sisters. For the score right there, that was two runs so quick at the top of the first inning. Not a strong start if you are Sallow, and for Sallow, that must feel kind of nerve-wracking to know that in her first two at-bats, or against her first two at-bats, she let up two runs. Kind of a slow start for the Wisconsin team. The 1-1. One, one. That one's to third, and the throw to first, as Sydney Gray will be out at first, but Samantha Bland able to advance to third. But is not having a good start on this lovely Sunday morning here at the Goodman Softball Complex. She walks Tokheim to put runners on the corners as next strikeout of the game. That one's popped up. Towards the second, and the out is made to end the top half of this first inning. And that one's going to be strike three, the first strikeout. Over by the pitcher. That one's straight back to Kinney from Blomberg, and it'll be out number two. Just easy pitch and catch between kids. Very slow start to the game for this Wisconsin team. Judo earning the walk, and she is the first Badger on base. If Wells is able to get on base and get Cuffle up to bat after her. That pitch went high, and Jared is going to take second base. Here's the 3-2, and Wells connects. That one's into right. What a routine play for Tokheim for out number three. That's going to end the first inning. A first inning that has gone exactly how Nebraska has won. Averaging 305 on the season. He's got 14 RBIs. That one hit towards third, and a tough play going off the glove of Bark. And Bella Bacon is going to get to bait. It's going to be a bunt out at first, but Bacon's going to get to second. It was Caitlin Kaneda, best hitters in the Big Ten. As that one straight away in the center field, it is caught. Bacon going to tag up at second and unable to advance. And so now two down, just like that. And with Bacon, she saw her opportunity but backpedaled knowing she wasn't going to make it in time. That one hit into foul territory, and Gerardo gets out number three. So a second inning that goes much better for Wisconsin. Three quick outs. Most this game. The 0-2, that one popped up, and the play made by Sydney. So she has a really good eye for when she wants to make that hit. That one's fair and a right. Bannon's going to go for two and maybe three. It's another triple for Peyton Bannon. Back to back games with a triple. That one swung on and it's a base hit in the center. Pey Peyton Bannon will score an RBI single for Bark and the Badgers are on the board. It's 2-1. Absolutely incredible by Bark, able to bring in Bannon for the first run for the Badgers and the only run thus far in the inning with Sala leaving the Cornhuskers runless in the top of the second. There's the second baseman, Ellie Hubbard now. Hubbard 
for Wisconsin. Schossler with 22 at-bats in the last batter in this Wisconsin batting that order. One's down for a hit. It was Samantha Bland who came diving in, but seeing if she can get some more runs on the board. That one to third. The throw to second. Not in time as the bases are loaded. To bring in the 0-2. And Kenny struck her out as the Badgers leave three runners on base. That's the end of the second inning. Wisconsin the 2-2. That one hit into left. That's a fair ball as Redwell's going to go for two. And a double to start off this inning for Nebraska. A strong start to the 1-1. One, one. That one hit to first, out at first. Gerardo makes the play. Bredwell gets to third. First out. And 28 RBI, an excellent base runner for this Nebraska squad. That one towards second is going to get through. Bredwell's going to score an RBI signal, sig, single for Sidney Gray, and it's 3 2 Cornhuskers. That ball got, getting past Ava Kuzak at short. Other players, and that is exactly what she does with that average. And was lasered towards third, out at second, and third. It's a double play to end the inning. An incredible move for the Badgers. Yesterday saw them with two double plays. And this brings it up to three over the past two days. And apps two walks in two strikeouts. So keeping those numbers low, though, I'm sure the junior, excuse me, the senior is looking to elevate that strikeout number. She gets a strike. Pitch, swung on, base hit into left field. Cuffle going to round first, but she's going to stop. A single for Brooke Cuffle. Bannon pops it up, left center field. And making the play is Samantha Bland for out number two, as Lucy has to stay at first. Seven on the season with 15 RBI. Lucy's going to go for second and out at second. That's going to end the inning. What a throw by Ava Bredwell to get out number three. The aggressive base running not paying off for the Badgers. Though it was an excellent effort by Lucy, you can see as she dives into plate, but number 66 for Nebraska is able to get that glove down and get her out. Strike three, Manyanama with the strikeout, retires Peyton Cody. Enough experience to know when is right to swing the bat and find the ball. It looks like Bacon hit by that pitch, so she will take first. She's been able to find the ball more this season than last. Big swing there and the throw to first. Bacon able to get back and safe. Badgers visibly upset by the call. The 0-2 to Kaneda fouls off. Kaneda, who in the postseason has been working with the hitting coach with a new formation, unable to find that ball, but as you can see, she holds that bat out in front of her instead of behind. Looks like the um stick. Very impressive hitter. 55 career home runs for Nebraska. That's the first all time. Set the record in the last series against Illinois, but here she's going to strike out, and that's going to get Magnanimo out of this inning. An incredible top of the fourth. We'll see if she's able to find the zone. The 3 2 swung on, hit towards short. The throw by Andrews, and out at first for out number one. Billy Andrews, we all know about her hitting ability, but showing. One away from a walk, struggling to find that zone. The 3-2, that one hit towards second. And once again, the play made. That's Caitlin Kaneda. As the At the Goodman Softball Complex. The 3-2, that one hit right at Kinney. And it is a 1-2-3 inning 
for Nebraska, quickly, re quickly retiring the first three batters in a lineup that has been very inconsistent all season long for the Cornhuskers. That one hit towards short. The play made by Ava Kuzak to get out number one. Had a double earlier in this game. She's going to get another base hit into right center field. Going for two. Another double for Ava Bredwell. Leading the charge for Nebraska. The mind game's being played by this freshman hitter. And the grad student going to get the strikeout there. That's two down now as Sydney Gray comes. 2-1 from Anyanamo. Is swung on, hit to short. The throw by Kuzak and out at first. To so a couple big plays defensively from Ava Kuzak. That one driven into right center field. Back at the wall, it is gone! Ava Kuzak with a home run and the game is tied. Sophomore Ava Kuzak who was 0-2 on the day, averaging 322 with an absolute smack. Incredible as you see her find the ball just at the right time, not even double checking, waiting for the crowd to erupt, knowing she got that home run and finding her way around the bases back home. Huge celebration. That one swung off. And into center field, Andrews is under it and makes the catch for the first out of the inning. An easy catch for Brooke Andrews, fell right into her glove. Ah, Harness in her first inning pitch has already faced a hit and a run, that run being an earned run. Now a four ball walk, Girardeau gets to first. Valley Conference MVC Player of the Year and MVC Defensive Player of the Year. She was also named NFCA First Team All-Region and NFCA All-American Scholar Athlete. That one towards short, Billy Andrews, and gets the out at first. That's gonna end the inning. The so. Andrews sisters, home of all three outs, end the inning for Nebraska. Wisconsin also made a change in the outfield, bringing in Kate, Kate Linkletter. So that one's popped up, and Manyanamo able to make the play for out number one. A quick first out for the B.I. That one hit. It's a base hit into right center field as Neal is going to get just her 12th hit of the season, a single. Nebraska. First pitch swung on, Manyanamo out at second. Unable to get the double play, Bacon is safe at first. But that's two down now. Just 308 with 12 hits on the season. That one hit towards first, and Girardeau makes the play for out number three. A quick inning. Incredible speed on this Badger lineup. And a little correction with Wisconsin's upcoming schedule. It'll be against Ohio State, not Roosevelt, following the Rutgers series back at home. Here's the 2-1 from Cope. Swung on and driven into left field. Going back, it is gone! Peyton Bannon with a home run. And the Badgers take the lead for the first time today. What a game for Peyton Bannon. A triple in the second, a home run in the sixth. It's 4-3 Wisconsin. What an incredible hit by Bannon. You can see the absolute excitement from the Badgers as they take the lead for the second time ever in this triple header. Just an amazing, amazing hit flying over the boards in left field as Bannon makes her rounds to teammates celebrating exactly the momentum the Badgers would hope for in the bottom of the sixth leaving Olivia Bark, the four, right in line with her season average. Sitting seventh in the Badger batting order. That one into right, and Caitlin Neal making the play for the first out. 
for Wisconsin. That's one thing that they haven't been able to do when they have gotten the lead. They haven't been able to build and extend. This one's popped up and the play made at third by Sydney Gray for out number two. Bojan, who found the ball just on the wrong spot of her bat. Ball popped up, but did. Here at the bottom of the order for Wisconsin. That one's hit to second, Kaneda. And that is out number three. So Nebraska able to get the three outs rather quickly after the home run. But Wisconsin takes the lead. With her average looking for a homer. That one into right, and the catch is not made. Andrews is going for second, going for third. A leadoff triple for Billy Andrews to start the seventh. For Molly Schlosser, just went off her glove. It was, in fact, Schlosser, who was right there, ready to recover. Excuse me, Linkletter, who was right there, popped him. Uh, that one me. into center. Catch is made. Andrews tagging and coming to the plate, and the game is tied at four. Minyagama one away from a strikeout. She has struck out four today. So Brooke Andrews with the sack fly to drive in her sister. So a tie game as Ava Bredwell now comes to the plate. We'll see now if Manyagama has with this inning. The 2-2, swung on into center. The catch is made by Peyton Bannon for out number two. So Bannon responsible for both outs. And what has been a back and forth affair here. That one towards third is Sherdashny, and that's out number three. So the, Cus the Cornhuskers able to tie the game. Kuzak, with 91 at-bats this season, has drawn nine walks. Kuzak in a right center field. Caitlin Neal under it, and that's out number one. And out and a pop out. The 0-2 swung on. That one's lifted into left and down for a base hit. So Blomberg with a single as Fiona Gerardo will come to the plate now. The 1-1 one, one from Cope, swung on, lifted into left field. There's a little slip from Bland, but she's able to make the catch. That's out number two, and Chavardia stays at first. Two down now for Wisconsin. Absolute cannon of an arm. That one popped up towards first. Bella Bacon makes the play for out number three and we'll be getting extra innings in Madison. That's the end of seven. Pitch swung on towards third, and the catch is made by Skyler Serdashny for out number one. It was a low one, but she was able to make the play at third. So one down as Talia Tokheim comes. That one, they say that Tokheim went around, it's strike three. It's a strikeout for Manyanamo. The 0 one swung on, deep into center field. Bannon going back and it's down for a hit. Neal rounding second. She's gonna stay there with a double. Caitlin Neal, another big hit. She's two for two on the day. 17, excuse me, point eight seventeen OPS. That went into center and Bannon makes the catch. What a play by Peyton Bannon, it's been her game. Comes up with a massive play. That was incredible, the reach, the has had 19 hits. And Cope just walked her. And coming to the plate now, Peyton Bannon, who has had a fabulous game, had a triple. That one popped up, Kinney under it. That's out number one. So Peyton Bannon retired. Going trying to get her in scoring position. And that one's a base hit into left. Nevin's gonna go for third. Bark going for second. Safe at third. It's a double for Bark. A huge, huge hit for Olivia Bark. In third with one out. Big swing and a miss there. 
Kinney gets the strikeout. That's two down. Kinney keeping Nebraska in the game and doing what she does best. The pitch swung on, hit to short. Billy Andrews out at first. And we will keep playing. That's the end of the eighth. The score still tied at four to four. The Badgers leaving two runners on base. Scored the tying run in the top of the seventh. That one's bounced down the line. And it's going to be an out on Kaneda. Looks like she collided with the ball. Kaneda. So that, that one right into center. It's a base hit. Andrews with a single. Coming up big when her team needs her to get on base. First inning. Brooke Andrews, she was the one who was able to drive in her sister to tie the game at the top of the seventh. And this one's a drive into center going back at the wall. It's off the top of the wall. It's going to stay in play. Billy Andrews is coming to the plate, and Nebraska. Takes the lead, I believe. Or are they gonna move her back? It came off the top of the wall, it looked like. Billy Andrews letting out a big yell as she crossed the plate. A replay, that ball bounced right off the top. Wisconsin. One of the players, I believe, that is Bannon losing her glove over the top of the fence. Not ideal. Hit towards short. Kuzak. And out at first. She got bred well. What a throw. And what a play at a big time for. 100. Definitely err on the side of caution. That one's hit towards third. Serdashny gets the out at first. That's out number three. So Nebraska takes the lead in the top of the ninth. Behind Kuzak Etravadia on deck, the freshman. That one's lifted in the center field, going back to the warning track. And Brooke Andrews makes the catch for out number one. Just not far enough. Eden Echevarria coming to bat for the first time as that one's lifted into right center field. And the catch is made by Caitlin Neal and just like that. And it all comes down to this. Kinney looking for the close, 107 pitches this game. That's a base hit into center field. Gerardo, first pitch she sees, she swings, she connects, and she gets to first base as the winning run comes to the plate. And it's Emmy Wells. Wisconsin's most powerful hitter. First pitch was a ball. This one connected into right. It's another base hit, and the Badgers have two on. Here's the 0-2. Strike three, and Caitlin Kinney gets the strikeout, wins the game for Nebraska. The Nebraska Cornhuskers are undefeated in Big Ten play. They are 5-0. They get the sweep of the Wisconsin Badgers. The final score, Nebraska 5, Wisconsin 4 through 9 innings. A back and forth game. A great game. Hard fought by both teams. And in the end, the Cornhuskers come on, come away with the victory. Not